This is the ninth lecture, and you are the second woman to sit here, um, the other being Barbara Corcoran, who started Corcoran Real Estate. Uh, but often what happens with women or girls who have ADD or who have dyslexia is that they're just thought to be spacey, you know, and you're blonde, so, you know, just a, a, you know, a dumb blonde is what they, teachers will, you know, they'll minimize it, and they don't make, these girls don't make a lot of noise, they don't cause a lot of ruckus, they're not disruptive. Was that, in some ways, when you think about it, that, you know, yes, the teacher was angry at you about math, but did they not, people not give enough attention to this in the way you would have given attention to your kids? Well, for sure. Um, that, I think that that's true. Um, 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 ADHD kids and mine is of the inattentive variety rather than the hyperactive. That, um, you know, if you're seemingly... Um, attending because you want to sit up straight, you want to do what teacher asks you to do, you want to please people, but in short, you know, the, you're absolutely operating uh, in, a, in a fog a lot of the time. And, um, and I would have thought that I would be very sensitized to that, but I have a member of my household who um, was also a very well-behaved student, and amongst other members of my household, <laughs> I had a couple of rambunctious ones who were not well-behaved. So I was always having to like go to school and listen to, you know, the diatribe of you know, the be the behaviour problems going on. And so the one that was well-behaved, uh, it, it was it was really difficult uh, at the time because. Uh, because her learning disorder went, went, went unnoticed even by me and uh, uh, until much later on. <laughs>